Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 246. Today is Sesame Street Day, November 10th. And why do I know that? I know that because we were thinking about releasing Wix 4 Preview 1 today, but it's not today, it's tomorrow but we're gonna talk about that in a minute. As always, this meeting is recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now. But man, if you're not here, you've been missing out. After some technical difficulties, we are on the road to excitement. Like, if you can't tell, I am hyped for today because what are we talking about today? We are talking about Wix v4 status, and that really is release plan. That's what we're talking about. And then we're gonna do triage. I wanna talk about the Wix 4 status because the triage is gonna include the Wix 4 status. And then as always, we'll take questions and comments that come up that have come up in the last two weeks and all that kind of good stuff. So great to have all of you in the chat. Thanks for uh, helping us get this thing on the road. And let me just jump right into Wix 4 status because that's why you're all here, right? Right, right, yeah. Here's the race plan. This hasn't changed. This is the same thing we talked about two weeks ago. The plan is to release uh, preview one on Veterans Day. That is tomorrow. Everything from what I've seen looks good. Uh, we will go through the issues. Maybe that will get uh, vetoed, but I think it's going to be fine. Uh, that's preview one. Tomorrow, uh, I, I, I have no words for that. Just, I just want to be done. All right. After that, we are pushing into re uh, RCs hard. We are going to make it clear. We're going to go out and tell everybody that we can, that will listen, that Wix 4 is out. RCs are on their way, like, now, immediately, you're gonna be eating Thanksgiving turkey while we're already in RC. So yeah, we're finishing Wix 4. That'll come out, current thinking is like December 16th. Even if we don't have any bugs that get reported between Veterans Day and December 16th, uh, we'll still do a release because it'll be good to one, declare RC, because honestly, preview one is kind of RC where we're at, but whatever, we'll fix whatever bugs we can in between. And mostly to get the, the mechanism in place to just kind of exercise the release process because we haven't done that in the new way that Wix 4 is. So that's December 16th will be RC1. We will have as many RCs as we feel are necessary, maybe about every month. The .NET team does that. They release about every month their RCs. A lot of it will kind of be dependent on what the bugs are coming in and how we're doing and what we're thinking. The goal though is to ship GA, RTM, whatever you want to call it, Wix v4 as early as possible. It will not happen in 2022. We will have RC1 in 2022, but Wix v4 will RTM in 2023 as soon as possible, as soon as we get as many bugs as we think need to be fixed, fixed. So preview one is, it kicks it all off tomorrow. It's all ramping up, finishing, tightening this thing down so that we release it as rapidly as possible. If we get zero bugs and everybody says preview one is perfect, we'll do the RC in a month just to give people time. And we'll be back in January and go, hey, you know, we've had zero bugs reported and tons of people have downloaded it and everybody says it's wonderful. Then, man, we'll release it in January. That's not gonna happen. We're gonna have plenty of bugs reported. Uh, but that's, that's the attitude, the direction, the way that we are heading. Um, all of this is a repeat from last meeting because nothing has changed and I want to impress upon people that uh, the end is nigh. We are doing this. And to be clear, after we're done with RCs and we fix the bugs, we're off to Wix 5 and Wix 4 is done. And we'll go work on uh, the things that we wanna do in Wix 5. So that's where we're heading. That's the direction. We will be talking about that stuff as soon as possible. So let's go see if triage makes me a liar that preview one is ready tomorrow. And let's do triage, because I think that's it. If you have questions, save them up. We'll cover them all at the end after we do triage and all that kind of stuff. Uh, hopefully it's pretty clear. We're finishing Wix 4, that's what we're doing. Triage, Bob, ready? But but we have no new issues to triage. Ha <laughs> ha. Triage! We don't. You're right, we have no new issues to triage. Uh, we don't have any issues because the bugs that Bob opened and I opened while running and using Wix v4 ourselves uh, have been fixed and in real time because, well, preview one is here. So uh, we're not gonna talk about new issues because there are no new issues. Uh, what we're going to talk about here is, um, wanna take a quick look at all of the remaining issues in v4. 
This gives you kind of a, these are the things that we know we need to do in the remaining RCs. This list will get bigger as other people jump on weeks four and open new issues, which is fine. This will grow and then we will shrink it back down to zero. Um, I just want to kind of- saying the, the 10 here are not for preview one. They're no. post preview one RCs. No, I'm saying this is all V4 things. Some of these are preview one. That's my next tab. I wanted to give people a feel for here are 10 issues that we know that are in our path on the way to V4. There's a couple of them we'll talk about for preview one, but I just want to let people know there are these. Notice a lot of these are documentation related and build process related. And those that aren't are on my next tab, which are the things that we're going to fix in preview one. Okay. So a lot of these build process and documentation things are kind of, we need to do processing on the website side and tie that together. And because we haven't got the new preview or the new Wix 4 website up, we're kind of in, you know, in between lands. So this will be stuff that we do before RC1, I'm hoping it mostly in cleanup like that. So let's talk about the things that are left in preview one. And I have these in reverse order because I think only the last one's going to be interesting. New minimum OS for V4. Bob, I assume you're keeping that open because that's in the doc that we are going to release tomorrow. Uh, yeah, technically it's been committed. I could probably feel comfortable resolving this okay. today, but either way, so it hasn't the, been released. Right. This has not been released. This comes out in the preview. When the new website comes out tomorrow, when we do the big push, the website is uh, familiar, but different. All new system underneath. I mean, anyway. It, it, hopefully much, much better, a uh, much better documentation system for sure. So anyway, so that is tomorrow. I have this already fixed and ready to go. I just have to do the final pushes and all that kind of stuff for votive. So mine is taken care of and I'm just doing to do the push tomorrow. So those are these two preview ones that are assigned to Bob and I. And that leaves us with Jacob's issue of the access to persisted variables. Will v3 doc, I'll answer that question later. Um, allow access to persisted variables from related bundles. Uh, this is a cool thing. Jacob sent the PR for this this morning, has been working on it. I know really hard. Uh, the PR is in build, all that kind of stuff. When, what do we do with this? Are we taking this in preview one? Or do we just bump it to RC1 and give it a little time so we don't have to rush it right now? Um, I'm inclined not to kick it out of V4 uh, because Jacob has done the work and we're gonna take more bug fixes anyway. So it seems like a thing to take. Uh, do you guys have opinions? I mean, if I have time tonight, I can merge it. Okay. I don't know if I will. Okay. So if I don't have time tonight and you're saying it can be pushed, then that's what will happen. All right. Because, yeah, um, the Wix 4 build is happening, like, the the final build will probably happen early tomorrow. Is I'm, I'm, like, start early tomorrow. And tomorrow my plan is to push lots of buttons and watch processes run and kind of keep a cheat sheet on the side to remember all the buttons I have to push manually and all those kinds of things so that being the case i suggest we declare that it will go into rc1 not preview one yeah you know that's probably safer so sean no hurry do whatever feedback by by all means do all the feedback but let's not push the merge button to make it into preview one like let's not take this the night of and we'll it could be the first thing in rc1 for example. But like, you're not going to push any buttons tonight, right? Well, I guess if we're, I'm a little worried Jacob's mentioned that it's a manual tested instead of an automated one. So we'd have to like run through it manually to make sure it worked. It's not like a lot of the other changes we do when we take them, we have, you know, a test that then runs on them to hope that should hopefully be verifying that they are fixed. Well, yeah, part of my work in merging it was going to automate the test instead of uh, manual. Oh, you're going to do it. All right. Uh, so if I have time to do that, then I'll do that. If I don't, then... Okay. I think that sounds reasonable to me. Okay. Good. I really wanted us to get through here and go, yep, yeah, these are all the issues. 
we have them all accounted for and planned for in preview one, or we'll just bump this one, RC1. And I'm sure we'll have more to join it. That's triage. That's kind of what I thought. I was glad that this list was empty when we started uh, of new issues. And my hope, I don't know, what is my hope? Is my hope that we announce this and Monday people start filling this up with things that they find? Or is my hope that this stays empty and our download counts just go way up really fast and everything just works? I just can't believe that the system is changes as large as this will end up creating no issues. So I guess I'm hoping we start seeing some things filter in here, I guess. It's one of those things like you write that much software and you're like, ah, there's no way this is completely bug free. But Well, at the very least, we're going to get reports about the experience people have using using Wix for and you know converting their stuff and yeah 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 so all right that's triage that's the thing to talk about there we are all set for tomorrow tomorrow is me pushing lots of buttons and uh uploading bits and pieces to the appropriate places where they go, uh, nougat.org and GitHub releases and all those kinds of things. And doing that in the full scale of Wix, I did a small one in preview zero, doing that in the full scale of Wix preview one to start getting that um, experience. Uh, well, just having that experience and kind of seeing what I can automate as time goes on. All right, questions and comments. We got one to start with. Uh, Zach asks, will the V3 docs still be available on the website? Absolutely. And all of the pages should be, uh, if any pages have moved, which some have, um, there should be redirects in place so that all the URLs work. And if they don't, then there's an experience that says, hey, please open an issue to tell us where you came from and you know where this page, what page you thought was missing and where what was pointing at it so we can try to fix uh, that like Stack Overflow so we can times we can go fix those if they're pointing to really, really dead pages. Or maybe we're just missing a redirect, which we'll fix and add. So yes, the V3 doc uh, will be there. As will new stuff on V4. And there will be more that will be coming about V4 in time. Because this is preview one, we'll have a set of things. There's plenty of opportunity for more to come in, especially people that are like, hey, what's new? Let me help and add some more content to this space. We'll take those too. All right, so yes, all the V3 doc will be there. Other questions, other comments? Um, I'm, I'm excited, like this is, I'm just, it feels like finally, and then we'll see. <laughs> I may be dreading Monday going, oh my gosh, look at all these issues, but Either way, we have to get through them to the other side. So that's it. Anything else? I'm trying to fill the space here, give people a chance to type their thing in. All right. So um, given the the meeting moves and things like that, uh, the next meeting and topic of things to discuss would land on Thanksgiving. And we're not going to have a Wix online meeting on the 24th of November being Thanksgiving Day. So... Uh, we have one option would be, well, I think we should have, I think we should go to the first, just slip it to the next um, day, the 1st of December, which actually lines up pretty well if we are doing an RC on the 16th, then we have the 1st and the 15th. So two days to triage or to yeah, triage and talk about things, otherwise about the status of weeks for before we do the RC on the 16th. Um, we could, I, I'm not inclined to schedule a meeting on the 17th because I don't know that we're going to get enough, we might get enough issues, but we might not. Um, I'm kind of inclined to like, let's just take this next week plus the shorter Thanksgiving week and like just take the two weeks-ish given Thanksgiving, we'll eat up a middle of that and come back on the 1st of December and see, hey, how's V4 doing? Let's get together and chat about it. Um, of course, we'll talk about things otherwise and we'll be fixing issues that pop up uh, in between there. But I'm inclined to do that. Uh, does that seem reasonable to just slide out to the 1st and then the 15th? I'm okay with that. Yeah, I thought that this iteration was better for you, though. 
I think I'm going to be better in December. Something's changed, so I'm hoping it all holds together. Okay. Yeah, life keeps changing. There so, was yeah. talk about moving the day of the week as well. Uh, there has. I well, I bring it up every once in a while as a not that we should, but that we could kind of thing. And um, people, I I generally have gotten feedback that no, 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 Thursday has worked out well. Um, but I'm I'm open if there's a lot of people are like you know. Tuesday would be better or Mon I mean I don't think anybody says Monday's better. I don't think anybody's ever said Monday was better. Um and Fridays aren't great just cuz you never know what's going to happen on Friday. So it's kind of like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday has been the time and it seems Thursdays is is good. Works for me. Yeah. It's as bad as every other day, so it's good. <laughs> All right. So well, Blair, it's great to have you here. Uh, it's been a while, so it's it's good here. All right. Um, given that we're all talking about the meeting, and I think everybody kind of says, yeah, 12-1 sounds good. That's what we're going to do. Uh, everybody uh, will get a break. Uh, we're back in standard time, so I don't do PDT anymore. It's all PST, which sounds better for some reason. I don't say with standard time. It uh, doesn't really matter if I really stick to Fire Giant standard time. I don't have to think about it, but... Uh, People are telling me, make sure you do PDT and PST. I don't know. Anyway, 9.30 PST, December 1st. That's a Thursday. That is three Thursdays from now. Wix 4 Preview 1 will have been out for a few weeks with Thanksgiving in the middle for people to go and hang out with family and do fun things like that. And we'll see how things are rolling once people start grabbing this and we'll see how much, uh, how rapidly people are able to adopt it. Given the fact that we're dropping the holidays, not ideal, but the reality of it. So I think that's it. Do you guys have anything else? No, nope. not me. All right. So we will be back in three weeks, three weeks, December 1st, nine 30, same place. Hopefully we'll have less glitches this time. I don't know what that was all about, but Hey, I'm glad you guys are all here to enjoy this thing. We'll have preview one uh, and uh, have a great Thanksgiving and a good Veterans Day to all of you. And we will see you in three weeks and around on all the other channels. Until then, you guys take it easy. Bye. 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 All right. That was weird. I checked Twitter to see if there was like a, you know, complaint about YouTube being down. But yeah, I, I, I have never seen that issue before. And I scheduled a second one. I'm going to kill that now. So there's less confusion. Um, and then I actually selected that one to stream to <laughs> on this. Thing, and then it started streaming to the original one. I was like, what the? But maybe I just had to let it sit for way longer. I don't know what happened. That was really strange. I've That's never happened in all of the streams I've done. All Man, how many have I done now? Done over 100 um, using YouTube. No, more than that. We've done a lot on... I don't know how many we've done on YouTube now. I think about it. But anyway. Um, okay. Uh, yep, everything looks good. Uh, Sean, I will... Um, so when, so you say tonight, so Mike, midnight my time, if, if it hasn't been checked in by midnight my time, I should not expect it. Is that a safe thing? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, midnight my time. <laughs> yeah. So I say midnight, I'll still be up at midnight. So I figured midnight my time was three or Two. Two, two yeah. your time? I, three for me. Yeah, three for you. Two I will for, not yeah. be up. Which I figured was late enough that it definitely wasn't happening that. Okay, cool. All right, well then I will be looking for that and then pushing buttons tomorrow and hope that all goes smooth.